I was distraught this morning. Young families have a really hard time in the beginning. And when they have babies without making any decisions, they let their lives just happen to them. That mess brought today's couple to my courtroom. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Gloria Martinez and Carl LaBruce. The two of you have been together for five years. You have a three-year-old and a three-month-old together. You guys are 20 and 21. Yes, ma'am. So I want you to start out by telling me how you got together at such a young age and started having children. What, what transpired? Uh, we met in high school. Uh-huh. And at first, we didn't really like each other. And mm -hmm. then so down the line, we had started talking, became friends, and then we ended up getting together. Mm-hmm. And how old were you when you got pregnant the first time? I was 16. You were 16? Yes. Were you scared to death? Yes, I was. Mr. LaBruce, uh, were you scared to death? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I was. Did you stay together because you had a baby together, or did you feel that um, your relationship was solid and you just happened to have a baby? No, we weren't together at first, and we ended up talking, and we wanted to work it out, and we got back together. And then we eventually, after the baby, we had moved in together, and um, everything was good. Uh-huh. And about eight months within the, within the baby, um, I just started having an ugly feeling, and he was texting girls. He actually a girl called one night, and I had spoken to her, and uh, to find out it was a girl from our school that he was talking to, they've been texting and everything, and I just couldn't do it, so. Is that what occurred, Mr. LaBruce? No. Okay, you tell me what you uh, say happened. This what happened. She ended up getting pregnant, and we broke up, but before she was pregnant, about two weeks, it's just on two weeks before we had broken up and she ended up getting pregnant. And as soon as she found out she was pregnant, she came to my house with the paper saying, I'm pregnant, it's your baby, okay, cool. I got this. I got you and the baby. It's, it's mine. I moved her in the day I found out she was pregnant. She been with me since day one. So a couple months go by, you know what I'm saying? She ain't got to work, none of that. I'm taking care of both of her and the baby. Two jobs, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm handling both of them. She ain't got to do nothing. Just go to school, come home, I got it. You know what I'm saying? And then about a month before the baby's first birthday, I get a DNA test. He not even mine. So Ms. I... Martinez. He asked me, and I ended up being honest with him. Uh, what happened was, when we had broken up, we were broken up for a few months. So within that time period, I had knew the person I was talking to. We did. It was one time. And after that, I had a Ms. regular Martinez. menstrual period. What do you need to be having sex with a whole bunch of guys at 16 for? I mean, you know, you it had a, a guy, guy, you were having sex with him, that's fine, you broke up. What, what, you know... Just don't be with anybody. Don't have a boyfriend. I mean, we do they, talk, when do it they talk about contraception in school at all anymore? Yes, they do. And, and, and nothing? I mean, it just <laughs> went right past you? No, well, we weren't even together at that time at all. We were, it's been a few yeah, months. You and were then, with somebody. Yes, and then I and had you had my, sex with him. Yes. And yes. you weren't, you didn't, you weren't using contraception. No, yes, we did. And I had told him when he had asked me about it. I was fully honest with him when he asked me and he said he was going to do it. I said, okay, well, I'm going to let you know. I said, this is what happened and I can't change it. it. I made my mistakes. Like I've told him, I made my mistakes. I'm not perfect. But at the same time, he was, the sa he was doing the same thing. When we first got together, a few months when I moved in and after I found out about this first girl, I just started going through this phone and it was previous of women. It's 50 to 100 on social media. Girls that go to my school, they used to come up to me and rub my stomach. I'm tired of it. I'm done. I can't... You can't take it anymore. Yeah. Mr. LaBruce, what did you want to say? She lying. <laughs> <laughs> what am I lying about? Uh, now, you heard her say that I couldn't be with none of the females because I was with her. But yeah, I'm being a real man. I can't be with you. I got her on the side. I'm still dealing with... After I found out the baby wasn't mine, no, it wasn't a baby fault. You know what I'm saying? I right. couldn't find him. He got my last name and everything. I didn't take no fraternity test in the hospital. But and me, I told you, you know too. what I'm saying? I'm thinking, this is real. This is what it is. I want the baby to be mine so bad. I don't need a DNA test. 
uh, I'm finna take her. Doesn't I, matter. I, I got this. this. My, yeah, you know I got saying? it. You know what I'm saying? But she keeps saying she was mature enough to tell me, but look how long you waited. Because I didn't He's know. He's almost walking. I told you from day one when we had the baby at the hospital to take the DNA test. The lady came in and I told you, sign the papers. I told you to sign the papers to take the test. But you got to look at it. Here's the thing. Y'all arguing about when I told you that so-and-so was a baby and all this guy. And I'm still flabbergasted at the fact that at 16, you're having sex with a couple of different guys. You don't know who the daddy is, and that does not bother you. Mm. It did. That's it the did. part it that was... got me all yes. tied up was, in knots. I, it, I was with him first, and then we broke up, and I'd been knowing this guy for a while. Uh, we, it, it didn't lead, nothing, lead to anything till that day, and it was only one time. After that day, I had no conversation. I did not talk to him. It made me feel dirty. It did. And then after a while, I had... I am back with him, so I didn't know I was pregnant until I was back at school, and everyone was telling me, oh, you look pregnant. I'm like, well, I'm not. I'm just getting fat. And eventually, he said something. He was like, well, from far away, you look like you're three months. That's when I went to the doctors, found out I was pregnant. He was the last person I was with. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, he is the father. I didn't know I was going to get pregnant by somebody else. So when I found out, the same day I found out, I went and I told him, like, look, I'm pregnant, and this is, like... This is what happened. But she and didn't tell me that till he was walking. Do you use birth control now? Yes. No. Yes, I do. He wouldn't know because he's hardly there. He's hardly there. He doesn't go to know none, nothing with me. He didn't go with he's our daughter. He's hardly family. there where? Home. He's hardly home. He he's is... hardly ever home. Yes. He but he doesn't know whether or not you're on birth control? No. He... Well, who I'm are you the on, one that birth told him I was on birth control? Him? I don't... No, yes. Or some other guy? No, him. I've been with him. Uh, After my first and he was the one who said that we weren't going to... He wanted to have another baby. So I was like, okay. After I took... My son was about two, going to be three. I took out the implant, and we tried and tried. Nothing happened. And then one day, we just... It just happened. And it was a surprise to us. You're not married. No, ma'am. Why would you want to have another baby? I do love him. I do. I won't lie. Um... I we, loved we, a lot of guys in my day never had no, their baby but, so. <laughs> I mean, I love him, I do. It's just now it's different. Now it's too many females. And recently I just found out about another one. And this time it was actually more physical. All right, we'll talk about that. Um, he recently just told me he had cheated on me with a girl we both know. Mr. LeBruce, how come you fessed up to the cheating? There wasn't no, no reason to hide it. So, Ms. Martinez, why don't you give me your best evidence of his flirtations or cheating or what you think he's doing? Um, he recently just told me he had cheated on me. After I recently? just... Recently? Recently, with a girl we both know. And my thing is, him and that girl have always accused me of messing with her baby daddy when nothing's ever happened, nothing. We were just friends, and that's all it was. Miss, miss, Mr. LeBruce, how come you fessed up to the cheating? What, what prompted that? It wasn't no, no reason to hide it. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to let her know, because I'm sitting there, she asking me, uh, so where you been? I was I'm telling her, well, I was at my friend's house. She know I wasn't at my friend's house. I came home at 7 o'clock in the morning. 9. Then, 9 o'clock in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I came in, we had a couple drinks. Me and the girl, her friend, her friend told me, Give me a ride. So we, I leave my friend's house, give her a ride. She say, well, my I, can't, friend. I can't get in my house. Let's go to the hotel. OK, I'll get you in the hotel. It's nothing. Take her to the hotel. She's like, you don't want to come in, have a drink or nothing? You know, I ain't got nothing to do. So I'm going there, have me a couple of drinks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> got nothing to do. Anyway, I don't even drink, but you know, I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? I go in there, have a couple of drinks. It go f from kissing to touching. And I, and then the whole thing happened. The whole thing happened. Yes, and did you go home immediately and tell her about it? No. No. Uh, what happened? <laughs> I stayed the night at the hotel with her friend. Right. And then I got so messed up. I forgot I had to be at work the next morning. So I go to work. I'm supposed to be at 6.30. I ain't get that till 8 o'clock. They send me home. I go home to her. I just got off work. You know what I'm saying? I got, got Work clothes on, like I just came from work. And Your I Honor, that's a lie. Ooh, he did what? not have his uniform. How did you go to party and 
you had a uniform. He didn't have a uniform. Well, he, I mean, I think we're quibbling over small things. He cheated. I mean, he, he just, cheated. hey, he just whatever. I'm going to go out. I'm going to have sex with this what person. What he had told me was he was with his friend, his guy friend. Uh -huh. And he woke up in his driveway. His friend had taken the key because he was drunk. He told me he doesn't even remember that night. He didn't even know. His friend told him that he had messed around with her. Then you didn't know? You were so he, drunk you didn't know? That's what he know? said. And up. he said that he called her and he found out. He asked her. Up. But I have family members that said she, they were there together at the party. Mm -hmm. Him, his friend, and the girl. They all, were all there together. I have family members also say that she hardly even drank. And he told me that one of his family members were pouring up the drink. Well, when I spoke to the family member, supposedly what I was told was they weren't really, she wasn't really drinking. He only had a few, two, three. And that's how you get drunk. You get drunk off of three, and you ended up you staying at the hotel. You seem to be very, very interested in the details of it. Yes, and I, I am. And, because and, I'm not, and I'm not sure why you care anymore. No, not the details. I just wanted to know the truth. I'm here to find out the truth, what's going on, what happened. He slept happened. with another woman. I Boom, told you. No, that's it. Yes, I yes. told you. But for, him, no, but for him to come up here and tell you something different from what he's told me, He's just changing the story. So now I'm trying to figure out what's the truth. Did he stay at the hotel? Did they even get a hotel? That's it my does, point. Does, why and do he you doesn't even why remember do if he used you protection. Care? He does because he's coming home and he's still laying in the bed with me. And he doesn't even remember if he used protection with this female. That's my thing. Sister LaBruce, where do you see yourself at 30? Sitting back, relaxing. I mean, I'm 56. I don't have enough money to retire. How are you gonna do that by 30? Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Let me ask you a question, Ms. Martinez. Yes. Where do you see yourself at age 30? Age 30, with my own place. Um, Financially stable, not with him, of course. How are you going to accomplish those things? Um, I'm actually working, so I'm trying to actually finish my high school diploma. I'm actually trying to do better for myself and my two children. Mm -hmm. um, I but have what been is, What's your game them. plan? You get your GED or you finish, finish high school, then what <laughs> comes next? Um, well, I'm actually a provider, so I'm trying to further myself in the nursing industry. Um, I love to just take care of people. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I did it with him. Every time he would get a little cut or something, I'm there to clean it and put medicine for him. Treat him like a little baby. I took care of him whenever he, he got injured. Mr. M Mr. LaBruce, where do you see yourself at 30? Sitting back, relaxing. Uh, Sitting back, relaxing. You know, I'm working hard, saving up, trying to take care of these kids. I don't know what she's talking about. She's doing it on her own. She been providing. That's the last Stop, Ms. Martinez. She I'm been talking providing to Bruce. four days. I don't know why she's oh, trying to Lord. sit like she's been up there, been working. She's what for four she days? She's been up there like four, five days. She just came out from working at a bar. Stop. That, Stop. That's, that's what she want to work at, at the bar, where she got a well, you know what I'm saying, little, showing a little backside, you know what I'm saying, the half shirt. That's what she want to work at. She just came out of there. Your Honor, that's this a lie. Stop. Job, this provide job. She ain't been doing that. And she go like two hours a day. OK. Now, Mr. LaBruce, uh, you going to be maxing and relaxing by 30? How, how you going to manage that? Uh, I mean, I'm 56. I don't have enough money to retire. How you going to do that by 30? There's a will, there's a way. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a <laughs> working hard, Your Honor. This, but working hard, you're only gonna work hard for another nine years? Oh, nah, nah, not at all. But I ain't gonna be working hard enough to where I gotta, you know, keep up with this. 
Because if she say she gone, she can go. Because I just keep my kids, but she can go. But I got, well, You're I plan on being at kids. 30, it's settling down, being cool, probably still on my job, you know what I'm saying, still on my job. But all this stressing, man, I'm 21. Got all these gray hairs. And it's because yeah, You had her. those gray hairs before we even got together. When I was 16, what I'm gonna do with gray hairs? You already had gray hairs. You did. He had about two or three of them. Do you guys have anybody? And then not more. Do you guys have anybody in your life that 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 kind of guides and instructs you at all? Do you have somebody older that you talk to about the decisions that you're making? No, Your Honor. No. Her side of the family, she can't sit up here and say that they they like me on their side. But back at home, that her side don't like me, and it's it's because of this. They want her to be in her race. Uh huh. And when I go around them, you could tell this. It's some shade in the air. They've seen. Yeah, they don't like it. Mm. It's, it's not cool. Just mm. look at him. First off, that's a lie. You don't even go to any family events. I don't because you they don't. look at me like he ain't one of us. On divorce court, what are you gonna do? I ask the tough questions. It wasn't me. It right? wasn't me. I didn't do it. Did you ever catch him? No, <laughs> but you tried. And I give you the answers. Men and women must explain themselves to one another. Because I pay his phone bill, Your Honor. Quit paying a man's phone bill, honey. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. I don't want to hear anything else from either one of you for the remainder of this session. I will be speaking to you. I don't know if it will help at all, but I'm going to give it the good old college try. Ms. Martinez, if you allow your life simply to happen to you, anything will happen to you. In other words, number one, you don't have to be with a guy all the time. You know, you broke up with him, so you had sex with another guy. All of that leads to a whole bunch of children that you're not able to take care of in a real and meaningful way. You're making childish decisions while you're trying to raise children, and that's not going to work out for you. Don't say, oh, I want to have another baby with a guy who you're not married to, who you break up with every other week, and you, you, you make a decision to have another kid with him? How much sense does that make? You have to, you have to focus on where you're going and what you're going to do. You need to focus on school, job, a life. Leave all of this, this nonsense alone. You're digging yourself a huge hole that you're not going to get out of. And you're, and you're so focused on such little things. Uh, you know, who said what to whom, and she said this, and I want to know the truth, and blase, blase, blase. The only thing you need to be thinking about are those kids, your education, and getting some money. That's all you need to think about. <laughs> Mr. Will Bruce, I will say this to you. I, I respect deeply your decision that I didn't have a father in my life and I don't care if this baby is mine or not, that I want to be there for that kid. And I have mad respect for you for doing that because that is the proper thing to do. It was absurd for you to ask you, her to have a child with you. Just absurd. You're not ready for that. You're 21. You don't even understand how life works. You think you're going to be chilling by 30. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, what I would do if I were you is find somebody, an older dude with a family, and talk to that guy and talk to him on the regular so you can figure out what you need to do, where you need to go. Because you got a little bit more sense than her. Not much, but a little. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So I'm looking, for, looking to you for some guidance and stability. Now, whether you guys stay together or don't stay together, I believe you're going to stay in the children's lives. I, I, I honestly do believe that. And you make that easy for him. Don't do any silly stuff. Don't have any more children. You focus on the things that you need to do so you can be the parent that you need to be and grow up and stop all of this nonsense. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. This matter is adjourned. You can't just run around and do whatever you feel like doing and expect your life to work out. Remember, the path of least resistance leads to the place with the most persistent problems. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com.